Well, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Raw Motive JT. So I was thinking, as I'm out driving around in my Jeep Gladiator, and I've got a 2021 Jeep Gladiator Mojave in Schnazberry Red, in case you didn't know. I love the truck. Let's preface this video with that right off the bat. I love the truck. This is my third Jeep Gladiator. Now, you might be wondering, well, why is it your third? I mean, they've only been out for a few years. Do you like buy one every year or what? And why would you do that? Well, there is a reason, you know, when you buy a Jeep Gladiator, you are taking a bit of a chance. Uh, I know this firsthand because it happened to me. And what I'm talking about, you know, Jeep doesn't have the best reputation for reliability to begin with, right? It's kind of a joke out there in the community, I think. You often hear people talk about uh, the poor record of, uh, of Jeeps in general, even though they're very popular. You know, there are tons of Jeeps, especially down here where I'm at. Uh, they're all over the place, and the number of Jeep Gladiators is growing as well. I remember when I first got my my first one, uh, I didn't see any. I'd go out, I'd drive around, and there were none. Now, I see them all the time. When I go out, I see at least two or three Jeep Gladiators, which isn't necessarily a lot, say, compared to the Toyota Tacoma, which you see tons of those. But still, when looking at it uh, at first, or when I first got mine, uh, it's come a long way. So, problems. I did have problems with my first Jeep Gladiator. It was a 2020, and it was the Jeep Gladiator in Gobi, the Sport S model. I uh, love the truck. I really did, and I really love that color. I still miss that color today. You know, after you put the black wheels on it, bigger tires, it looked fantastic blacked out trim and all that stuff awesome but i had trouble with it it was the infamous auto stop problem a lot of people have had this problem and i know there are those that don't i haven't had that problem on this one or my previous one after the first one but what i was having almost every time i would drive the truck i would get a notification on the screen that there was some kind of a problem or malfunction with the auto stop system. A couple of times, or maybe more than that, I got a check engine light. Now, that is very troubling when you have a brand new vehicle and that light, that indicator pops up. You never wanna see a check engine light in a brand new vehicle or any vehicle for that matter. So I went through all kinds of uh, hoops trying to, to fix it myself, took it to the dealership, and of course, the dealer, they won't do anything with it unless they can experience the problem themselves, which makes sense to me. I mean, if you pull up in a vehicle that shows nothing wrong, well, then why are you here? But the issue that that creates is you never know when the light's going to come on. I mean, it was frequent, but you never knew exactly when it was going to come on. So they told me that the next time it happened, I should just drive it directly to the dealership and don't turn it off so that they can see the indication or the warning lights that I'm getting on the screen. Well, what a hassle that is, right? I mean, let's say I'm on a trip somewhere. I don't know. I mean, we drove that Gladiator to Colorado. It was a, what, a 19-hour one-way trip, 38 hours, and in the middle of it, I'm going to turn around and drive to the dealership? Well, no, I'm not going to do that. So I decided not to do it. I actually had an opportunity uh, to trade it out for another one, and then we traded that one off back to the dealer for something else. It was for my mother. She actually ended up getting a, uh, a Jeep Gladiator Mojave, the one that we're in right now. I'll tell you that story in just a minute. So I traded it off, no issues, got my second one because I wanted a Jeep Gladiator. I really do love the truck. That one was the white one. It was again a 2020, same year, same trim, exactly the same truck, except it didn't have the tow package. That one I didn't have any issues on, nothing whatsoever. Loved it. But, and here's the story my mom decided that she wanted to go back to that original white 
Jeep Gladiator that I had traded her the go before that she then traded for the Mojave. So she came to me and wanted to know if I wanted to do something uh, with the Mojave that she had, the one we're in now, in the form of trading back to her, the white one, uh, for this one. So I love the Mojave anyway, and I really love the Snazberry Red. So for me, it was kind of a no-brainer, right? So we did. We swapped them out, and uh, I now have the Jeep Gladiator Mojave. But there was an issue with this truck, and I knew it going in. It's not like, you know, mom uh, tried to pull a fast one on me and get hers back and give me the bad one. It wasn't like that at all. I knew there was an issue with this one. And of course, and I've talked about this on the channel, it was a vibration. When sitting in gear, uh, or even in park, the truck would run rough, it would vibrate, like it had a bad idle or something. So I did a few things trying to fix that. You know, I, I cleaned the throttle body, that was one thing that was suggested on the web that I tried, and I did. And it, if it did anything, and it might have been a placebo effect, uh, it seemed to be a little bit better, but it wasn't gone. So the next thing that I decided to try, again, per suggestions on the channel, was to try a fuel injector cleaner. You know, dump one of those containers in. I did that. And I am happy to say that I no longer have that vibration. Now, it was either a combination of the throttle body cleaning, which was very simple, uh, and the fuel additive, the fuel injector cleaner, or the fuel injector cleaner itself. I'm not sure since I did both pretty close to each other, I really can't tell which one solved the problem, but the problem has been solved. So the Jeep Gladiator, you know, it's kind of hit or miss. And for someone like me who has had multiple Jeep Gladiators, I suppose the chances of having an issue uh, is greater because I'm not sticking with one that didn't have any issues like the white one, the Sport S that I had traded my mom for originally and got rid of that Gobi. Now, what is the problem with this auto stop thing? You know, that seems to be a mystery. I believe it is something to do with the charging system and the auxiliary battery because there are a lot of folks out there that have gone to the dealer and they always seem to trade out that auxiliary battery. And if you didn't know, it has two batteries, the Gladiator does. It has one for the stop-start system. That seems to be the issue, but I'm not convinced that that is the, the end. Uh, I know there have been many major things done to try to solve that problem, things that I think were probably just a waste of time. Maybe it's a way for the dealership to get reimbursed uh, from the manufacturer and make a little money. I don't know. So you have to be careful, I guess. With the Jeep Gladiator, you know, it's an awesome truck, but it can be hit or miss. It can definitely have problems. I've experienced it firsthand. Does that stop me from having one? Well, obviously not. We're riding in one right now. I love the truck that much. There will always be a Jeep Gladiator on this channel uh, because it is such an awesome vehicle. Anyway, leave a comment. Let me know what you think, particularly if you have a Jeep Gladiator. Have you experienced any problems with yours or has it been spot on the whole time? I'd be curious to know. Also, real quick, I do have two additional channels. Mod Driven, all about right now, little projects and mods on the uh, Mercedes C300. And Rob Motive, all about the Toyota Tacoma. Check them out, and if you're interested, why not subscribe? And while you're at it, smash the subscribe button here too. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.